uh, I saw this on the internet and I, I did some research and I figured I gotta make a video about my own research looking into the theory that there are in fact two wells that BP drilled and in fact there's a theory that the well we're looking at on TV is in fact the first well that BP drilled that was abandoned and so I figure we gotta go to the source of this information so uh, right here on the screen you're looking at the official initial exploration plan uh, for Mississippi Canyon Block 252 alright now this is a document available on the MMS government website it's a PDF you can download it you can download the entire file and it tells you exactly what BP planned to do what they plan to drill and the exact locations of well A and well B okay this is public information alright so we know that there were two wells alright look at first page the first page of this document okay let me go to the zoom so you can see better alright subject public information copy of plan type initial exploration plan lease okay this is this is for a land lease for an area in the Gulf of Mexico called 252 Mississippi Canyon area alright now BP is saying that this is well MC 252 that's a crock ladies and gentlemen there is no well MC 52 okay there's Mississippi Canyon block 252 in which that area there are two wells description well A and well B BP exploration alright and they tell you the type of rig attaches the copy of the plan and this was they they, they submitted this to MMS alright and it was approved alright now let's go let's let's go a little further and let's see exactly what the plan was alright this is this is serious information that has to be made common knowledge all right now here right here is a uh, a coordinate map of exactly where the wells were all right and I'm gonna get back to that in a second so I'm gonna breeze past that let's go past the table of contents all right section one plan contents all right section 1.0 plan contents under this exploration plan BP exploration and production Inc proposes to drill and here's the key ladies and gentlemen proposes to drill and temporarily abandon two exploratory wells in the Macondo project area alright now this is this is key they plan to abandon both of these wells from the get-go now we know as a fact that there was a well drilled I believe back in October of 2009 that uh, first of all the rig was damaged in Hurricane Ike so they had to change the rig and then back in February uh, they restarted it, I think in January and then back in February they were having problems with it and subsequently they had to abandon well A alright and that's that is public testimony of Mike Williams and you can see it all on the 60 minutes document uh, on the 60 minutes documentary all right and they say they drilled the well they had problems and they abandoned it so they drilled the second well is that what I'm to believe you're damn right it's what I'm to believe okay now this is just other technical information about the, uh, the characteristics of the rig all right now this this is the most important piece of evidence actually okay no uh, here's another piece of important evidence here's another piece of important evidence all right US Department of the Interior OMB control number US Department of the Interior okay minerals Man management service this this US Department of the Interior is run by Ken Salazar that is the person we should be demanding answers from ladies and gentlemen Ken Salazar the head of the Department of the Interior 
So, let's see. Okay, over here they have general information. BP Exploration. Gives you the address, contact persons. Okay. Uh, objectives, oil. See that little X? There's an X in the oil space. That means that that's, where that's what they plan to do. You don't see an X in a gas or sulfur or salt option. Okay? You don't see any of that. So, now let's go down lower. Description of proposed activities. Mark all that apply. X. Exploration drilling. Alright? Do you see anything else here indicating that this well was for any other purpose than for exploration? In other words, to find what type of oil and where it was coming from in the Macondo lease of Block 52 area in the Mississippi Canyon. Okay? No, it was not. There was no well completion applied for. No test flaring, no insulation of caisson or platform or any other subsea wellheads or manifolds. There's no, they, were, they didn't apply for an installation of a wellhead. Okay? Now, this was an initial plan, so maybe there were subsequent plans that, 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 override, rode, that overrode this, okay? Now, look. Look at this. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is the most damning evidence I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay? Look at this. What is the proposed activity that BP had in mind for these two, for, for the Macondo well uh, area? Proposed activity. Okay? Tentative schedule of proposed activities. See that? Okay. First line, drill and temporarily abandon well location A. Now, don't forget, we have coordinates in this document of exactly where that is. Second line, drill and temporarily abandon well location B. Now, did they drill well location B? According to witness testimony, they did. And that's what sank the rig. So what about well location A? Is it leaking? What's, what happened to it? Is that the well we're looking at on TV? Because according to Matt Simmons, a blowout usually blows everything to smithereens and there is no blowout preventer or any of that crap left over. So what are we looking at? Now here, look at this. Okay? Include one copy of this page for proposed well structure. Proposed well structure location. Alright, I'm going to zoom in so you can see that I'm telling you the truth. That's what it says. It says proposed well structure location. Proposed. Alright? Now, did they drill it in that spot? According to the live feed, they did. Alright? Now, I'm going to come back to this in a second. But while it's still there, I'm going to zoom in. This is live footage. And this isn't something that I recorded, that I recorded, guys. This is live right now. I'm watching this right now. This is live footage of the well that they claim is capped. Okay? This well is capped. Because it's well A. How do I know it's well A? Because look at the coordinates, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Now remember these numbers. All right? I'm going to write them down so I remember them. One, okay, east. One, two, zero, two. Um, that looks like a two, uh, one, zero, two, seven. Okay? Uh, it's changing to two, eight. So it's two, seven, two, eight. 293 um actually that's a 99 nine. the cameras having trouble picking that up but 99.01 the dot .01 at the this dot .01 at the end is irrelevant because that's just the this is such a an accurate measurement i don't think that the measurement in the, in the report is accurate so now let's look at north north okay 1043167 one zero and now it just shifted to one six twenty two okay because the ship is actually moving around in the water and these things aren't a hundred percent accurate but they're, it's close enough now this rover is sitting right on the damn wellhead okay <laughs> this isn't off in the distance this is the as far as we can tell this is the precise location of the wellhead now this isn't this is not longitude latitude coordinations. This is numbers of a coordination map of Macondo Block, uh, Mississippi Canyon Block 252. 